No, I'm not wearing this on my head for a bet. It's Christmas this week. Bar humbug. But welcome along everyone to... Yeah, episode... Uh, 48. Of our F1 2020 Mighty Career Mode. This is for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Should be a good one, folks. Let's have a look at the... Uh, department, shall we? You can see there, everything looks well as it does. Huggy dory. You might also see the uh, microphone stand at the bottom of the screen, just about here. <laughs> yeah, we've uh, we've uh, experimented a little bit with a few setups. You can see we've got some uh, we've got some parts on the way. They probably won't be in until after Bahrain, which is uh, a bit of a meh. But uh, yeah, it's all looking hunky dory, as they say. So let's look at the championship. After one race of the season, it's only one race, as you can see. And uh, I got a there, put it like that. So uh, Jackie leads away from Carlos Sainz, Max Verstappen, Lance Stroll, no, Hubert Matsushita, Charles Leclerc, Danny Kvyat, Danny Ricciardo, Valtteri Bottas, and Esteban Ocon. Chase side the lead from McLaren, Ferrari, Red Bull Racing Points, Alpha Tauri, Renault, and Mercedes. But it is still early days in the season. And we all know that anything can change in literally the blink of an eye. In the literal blink of an eye as well. Lewis Hamilton last. <laughs> Love to see it. Do we get the aero parts in? We do not get one of the aero parts. That sucks. Balls! So I guess we're going to go have to uh, redo that. What did we get? We didn't get the... Front wing end plates for the drag. Could have uh, could have done with that. Not going to lie. So, we'll probably sort that out uh, after practice and qualifying. And speaking of practice and qualifying, we'll get Jackie practice, get Tatiana practice, get them both qualified. See you on the grid for the Bahrain Grand Prix. The stage is set for another enthralling race here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. A Ferrari stronghold in years gone by, but will they be able to add to their record today? We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit with 15 corners and two good passing opportunities into turns one and four. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left tyre into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Anthony Davidson, thanks for joining me once again for the Grand Prix. Let's discuss Red Bull. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. It doesn't look promising for them so far. And if the new regs have hit them as hard as we think, well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Calderon, Max Verstappen, and Matsushita, Gasly, Norris, Ocon, and Sergio Perez, Leclerc, Stroll, Rose, and Kvyat, Ricardo, Albon, Antonio Giovinazzi and George Russell, Raikkonen, Magnussen, De Vries and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Uh, and if we are going to continue that uh, point scoring form, we're going to have to do it from uh, pretty darn deep in the field. It's only P13 for Jackie. Tatiana getting an absolute monolith of uh, qualifying. P4 for her. If you hear a whistling, uh, the wind is up outside. It's uh, coming through the windows. So one stop. We're going to try and get uh, a mega start on the softs. Go through to the medium tyres on lap six. We'll try and uh, see if we can get someone early. But uh, first of all, we need to get into that first corner before anyone else. Hopefully. Oh, we're being held for a while here. With lights out, and away we go from P4. Go get them, girl. We'll see what uh, what happens. Actually, no, we're on P4. That's Tatiana up in P4. I do apologise. I should know that. I just saw the uh, <laughs> saw the uh, clip there. Is oh, over the curb at three. Why there? The first one is that. Well, she's already up to P5. 
get to me. Oh, 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 God. Right, if one of the Red Bulls was all over the place loose. Actually, she's uh, P6, P7. Tatiana's been uh, chased down by one of the uh, Ferraris there. Who was that up there? Was that uh, Leclerc? Was that Matashita? Might be Matashita. It looked like uh, his number as we go through the fast chicane. And now it's just Tatiana in front of her. But uh, we need to get in front. Of Look at Lewis Hamilton. He's already off into the distance, folks. This could be a long race. <laughs> this could be a long race. He can name Tat Jackie Levine, that's for sure. And Tatiana Calder up. Hopefully it's uh, not too long of a... Too long of a race because... Well, I want to get out of here. I want to go and... Uh, I want to go and see the neighbours for Christmas. Ev send uh, everyone home for Christmas. But uh, through the top of the circuit, you got one of the Alpha Tauri's uh, chase. Who is that Alpha Tauri? Is that uh, P Gasly? It is the man Gasly. And it is Matsushita in front of uh, Tatiana here. For once, Tatiana's outperforming Jackie. That's, uh, that's a rarity. Get that, get your notebooks out. That'll never, ever happen again. As uh, we go, oh, Jackie running very wide out of the last turn. We're on board with uh, the man Gasly. Heading down to turn number one. He's going to deploy some uh, ERS here. He's gone rich. He's gone overtake. He's going to the inside. Oh, oh, oh Jackie giving it a good defence. But uh, that will be uh, turn one. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And you're not uh, coming through there. And uh, Gasly tried again, but he's gone a bit deep in turn 10 here later in the lap. Will Leclerc have a look for P7? I don't want Leclerc coming past him because Leclerc will have Jackie for breakfast. And lunch. And dinner. And everything else in between. But uh, yeah, there you go. Leclerc into P7. Ahead of the man Gasly. Oh boy. So, we set green. We're not setting the uh, track off. So, I assume that it's Hamilton from Bottas. Then, I assume that McLaren is Carlos Sainz. Yes, he looks like Carlos Sainz uh, P3. Then, uh, Matashita Tatiana. You've got uh, Jackie, then P6. Charles Leclerc, Pierre Gasly. It is Land. No, it's not Lando Norris, is it? Is it Lando Norris? Yes, it is Lando Norris. He's going to pass uh, the man Gasly here for P6. So P8, I do apologise. And up the inside, job done almost. And behind him is, I believe that's uh, Esteban Ocon uh, in P9. We'll, uh, we'll get that uh, checked in a moment. As uh, we go a little further into the lap here. This is lap number four now. And uh, there is Valtteri Bottas. He's lost track of uh, Lewis Hamilton here. And uh, Carlos Sainz going to have a go down into turn one. Go get yourself some, Carlos. That is a great move if you pull that off. That is a fantastic move from the Spaniard. Great pass. But uh, I think Jackie's going to do some defending now. She is struggling here around Bahrain. She's got Charles Leclerc coming. Let's see if Char he's going to go outside. You can see this coming. Oh, ho, ho. I tell you what, that was a bit late. Uh, I like that move, but that was a very late. In fact, it might put uh, Leclerc into the uh, clutches here of Lando Norris as uh, they head down to turn four. You've got the man Gasly still uh, looking in close attendance. And uh, around the outside, he'll try and defend, but I think uh, Lando's got him oh, side by side into the chicane. That's not going to work. Oh, it's going to work all the time. And now they're going to keep this going. They keep, keep fighting, you two. And they go, Lando into P7 as we look at who is that that looks like Nicholas Latifi right there and I think Nicholas Latifi is about to call it a day yep that is Nicholas Latifi calling it a day folks so Latifi is out of this race on lap 5 and here is the safety car okay you couldn't have come out a little earlier there a little earlier would have been much appreciated. That's uh, absolutely fine. And uh, under the safety car, Charles Leclerc's going to have an issue as well here. I think Leclerc's going to retire. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. It's going from bad to worse for this Ferrari this year. There you go. He's pulled off to the side. So here we go. Tatiana's going to be first in. And she's going to get the preference. And you can see uh, Jackie in the background. She's tried to get a gap on everybody here. So here's Tatiana. Let's see if we uh, work this well. Tatiana in, out. Perfect. Where's Jackie? Oh, that is absolutely brilliant for the Chase Liner girls. In and gone. That should uh, get us some uh, track position. Thank you very much. I think we've jumped Bottas as well. Where's Bottas? 
Who's that Renault? There's a Renault coming here. Is that Ocon? That's Esteban Ocon, folks. I think Ocon's just finessed the field. And speaking of finessing the field, we're getting ready to start restart here on lap number eight. The leader is Nick De Vries, folks. You are not seeing things. Nick De Vries lead this race from Kevin Magnussen. There's Hamilton. There's Sainz. You've got Matsushita, Tatiana, Esteban Ocon. And there's Jackie. Bottas. We have jumped Bottas in the pit, so that's uh, that's good. Let's see if she can time this right on Ocon. Let's see if she can time this right. Let's see if she can time this right. She's timed it absolutely beautifully. She's got him. She's got him down into turn one. Surely she's got him into turn one. Surely, referee. Oh, free wide as well with uh, Carlos Sainz. That's not going to work. Oh, Jackie had to go very, very, very wide there in turn three. Luckily, she's not uh, giving that position up. But I think that means she's P2 on the track. Ocon caught and Sainz got caught with their uh, with their boxers around their ankles here. Look at them still going through the chicane. And uh, I think Matashita and Tatiana are having a great scrap in the background there for what will uh, what will eventually be P5. Oh, there you go. Tatiana's got it. There you go. Good girl. Tatiana coming uh, coming very nicely, as uh, you would say. So here we go. We've got cars pitted. I assume that's uh, De Vries and uh, Magnussen. And there goes Jackie down the main straight. She's fighting for P2 with Ocon here. Watch Carlos side to the background. He will not be happy that... Uh, He's given up uh, P2 there, but uh, thank you very much. Goodbye and God bless. Hamilton is, uh, yeah, Hamilton's disappearing, folks. He is off into the distance and uh, we may not see him ever again. And that is the case as we go on to, uh, oh my God, the car got squirrely through, uh, through the fast chicane. Hamilton has uh, disappeared in the distance here. He's done uh, the ultimate try-hard, as uh, they would say, as we go through the last corner. Jackie's got to do some defending here from Esteban Ocon. Still for P2. Where is uh, Ocon going to go here? Watch Carlos Sainz in the background as well. I guarantee you that's uh, going to... Oh, there was um, some late moving, some late weaving and diving there as uh, they go side by side through two of them. Jackie's going to keep uh, P2 for the moment. And where is Ocon going to go? Ocon is going to go somewhere. It's just a case of where. He's not going to come through. So you're going to have to wait till, uh, wait till the back straight here. To see if uh, anything does come about of his charge. And uh, hopefully it won't. Hopefully Tatiana's uh, waking up here. But uh, we'll move forward on to lap number 13 here in the Bahrain Grand Prix. And you can see that uh, George Russell and Max Verstappen are about to uh, get into a fight here. We'll watch uh, Danny Kvyat in the background. Oh, that's uh, that's as easy as you like. That's going to be a slam dunk pass. Well, it should be a slam dunker. And it is. Move uh, Verstappen into P13. Watch uh, the man... Oh, sorry, that's the man Gasly behind George Russell. I do apologise. That's uh, going to be for P14. And that should be job done if he gets the breaking right. Indeed he does. There you go. Fantastic move from the uh, Frenchman. As, oh, Ocon! What is Ocon doing? Ocon's got a great drive out of uh, turn eight. And Ocon is... It, what is Ocon doing? Ocon got it all wrong. And now Jackie's defending with Carla Sainz here. Tatiana's uh, also in the mix. I tell you what, Jackie, if you can't... Uh, oh, go on. Oh, side by side with the Spaniard. What? A, oh, oh dear me! May have been some contact. I think Jackie's lost wing. She's lost. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, front left end plate. She is going to have horrendous understeer. I think Carla Sainz has also lost uh, an end plate or two. He's about to lose something else if he's uh, not careful. He'll uh, he'll lose a face. We'll send him uh, that bill. I think uh, Jackie's held him up nicely. Because look at Tatiana. Tatiana right on the back in the gearbox. And Carlos Sainz. How about free? Oh my God. I think there was cars getting loose all over the place. And now Jackie's squeezing Tatiana into the curb as well. They're supposed to be teammates. Oh, the, the claws are coming out. They are really coming out. I think Tatiana's sustained some wing damage there. No, she's got a perfect wing. 
Uh, you got Matas Gita trying to defend uh, from Esteban Ocon. I think he's got past Ocon as well. So Ocon is slipping down uh, the order very quickly. As uh, we go to, who is that? That is George Russell with uh, with Kimi Raikkonen behind him. And this is going to be for P15. Watch that pink car behind him. I think that's uh, Hollywood Land Stroll. He's going to have a look. <laughs> oh, that was... See, that's how that move should have gone. But then uh, all that contact happened. And everyone started getting uh, loose as uh, loose as your life. Deary, deary me. Well, I tell you what, that's going to put um, the cameras a bit. There goes uh, Danny Kvyat past George Russell. So George Russell's got three space positions in four corners there. And look at Tatiana right on the back of Jackie. This is, this is the problem here with the... Oh, oh my God, I tell you what. I, I might have to uh, step in here. Because this is uh, this is getting. I wish I could step in on this guy. Look at the ultimate try hard here. Lewis Hamilton's going to win the Bahrain Grand Prix. What a try hard! Someone give him the try hard award uh, out there if you uh, don't mind me saying so. Speaking of, right, multi one two four, multi one two four. I'm calling this off right now because this is getting. This is getting really. <laughs> they're going to both crash in the second here. I think Jackie's just going to hold on. Jesus wet. Jesus wet. Oh my god. Got a two and a three. She got a driver of the day as well. Dear, I don't want another race like that ever again. Yes, another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy and to stay out of trouble. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Rose increases their championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I have to give it to Rose. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. The current leaders continue to extend their lead at the top. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. Well, I think it's uh, fairly obvious. Uh, we didn't have an answer for the try-hard Lewis Hamilton. But uh, we certainly had an answer for everyone else. <laughs> oh, boy. 102 difficulty at Bahrain is... It's mega. Lewis Hamilton, fastest lap, and wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Ahead of Jackie and Tatiana. Uh, I think uh, Tatiana remembered who was uh, signing the checks there at the end. Carla signs Masashita again, impresses uh, for a P5. Ocon, Norris, Valtteri Vatas, Danny Ricciardo, and Natoyo Giovinazzi, your top ten. Take a look at the rest of them here. Uh, two DNFs, Charles Leclerc and uh, Nicholas Latifi. Oh well, you live in hope. Let's go and uh, check out the interviews. See what Claire has to ask us. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Absolutely. You were cutting your way uh, Jackie way. certainly was. I mean, my God, 13th to second. What, uh, what more can you say about that? And she got an absolute monolithical restart as well on Esteban Ocon. It's got to come down to the horsepower of that Mercedes engine. It's safe to say you're smashing everyone. Hey, it's only two races, darling. Although getting a first and a second in the first two races is pretty uh, much not smashing everyone's expectations. 
How do you feel seeing your teammate up on the I enjoy t seeing Tatiana on the podium. I think I want to see more of it because it pisses off everyone uh, that doubted her. Tell her our ass tastes. There was quite a lot of contact today, wasn't there? Uh, there certainly was uh, a lot of contact uh, out there today. And uh, I think people need le to learn how to drive. Appreciate your time. And yours as well. So you can see how uh, Jackie is standing up to Lando Norris, folks. She's uh, she's owning that ass. Quite simply, she's owning that ass. Tatiana gets a boost up to level 12 acclaim. Level 20 still for the team. That's that That's amazing in itself. Look at 2.2 million. Give me all that money. Very quickly as well. Jackie lost 10k probably because of what Esteban Ocon did. The absolute moron that he is. 555. Oh, dearie me. Don't want, don't want to talk about the running costs there, champ. Moron. <laughs> right. Let's have a look what we got. So we got nine days before the Chinese Grand Prix. So let's see what we can uh, stick in here. Well, looking around, it doesn't look very promising. However, I will take this aero equipment department upgrade. I will also take the... What else should we take? The aero team building. And we'll take the G-Force training for Tatiana. I think we may as well... Take the sponsor event promotion, get some more team acclaim. That would uh, that would help uh, everyone out. That would work it uh, all nicely. Uh, five and a half million. I don't think we can upgrade anything. See, see my girl up here, up here. She's still got no face. Poor girl's got no face. I don't know why. Right, we got seven hundred and forty-four resource points. We can get this redeveloped so that'll come in for time for the Vietnam Grand Prix or oh, it's Vietnam next sorry not China <laughs> I I got my dates mixed up there I do apologize uh, you can see we got uh, an aero uh, not an aero sorry we got a uh, engine upgrade coming uh, I think that'll come in in time for China <laughs> we'll have to uh, we'll have to check but guys, let's get 25 uh, likes on the video if we'd be so kind. Uh, get subscribed if you haven't already done so for more F1 2020 My Team Career Mode, more Snooker 19, more NASCAR Heat. No, NASCAR Heat 4 is finished. More Marvel Spider-Man and whatever it is we play this uh, Sunday after Christmas. I think it's Tomb Raider. I'm not uh, entirely sure. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. If you can't be kind to each other, then do be quiet because uh, you have no place in the world. Uh, and we'll see you tomorrow for uh, for the semi-final on the, the snooker.